What's up guys, Josh from Extreme Truck and Auto. I'm gonna be installing the new diode dynamic rock lights on my WJ. If you want, I can go do a little overview and spec video on these, but let's go ahead and get into the install. So what I'm thinking about when it comes to installing this light is I'm actually gonna stick it, I already marked the yellow, but right up in there. We're gonna do that on all four corners. Now, one really cool thing about these pod lights, mind the mess, I've been busy today is that inside here, this is your cover. We're gonna get this popped off. These just snap in. I got the high low with the single color. There is also RGB for these. Essentially, there's a little hole in here. They give you this little rubber plug right here that plugs up that. So what you basically do is you take your screw or bolt or whatever, you go up through the hole, you make your hole, you mount the light. Pretty straightforward. I'm gonna get all four done and then I'll bring you back in once when I get those mounted. I went ahead and threw the long extensions on. We've got all of our lights mounted in the wheel well. Now, one thing you'll see is the way I did this on mine is screw here, screw there. I zip tied it to this little brace here. Sprayed it with some undercoating so that way I don't have to worry about rust or anything. I'll probably re-hit that once when I'm all done with a little bit more undercoating just to make sure. Essentially, we're gonna go under the vehicle and figure out how I'm gonna route these wires. This may take a while, so I'm not gonna do any like time lapse or anything like that. I'm just gonna get it up, get it figured out, and then bring you guys back in. All right, so I got a lot of the wiring done comes down, comes across. Now I've got a good enough gap here. If I'm concerned about it, I do have heat shields, but I think I'm just gonna send it and see how it does. And then we come across, I got a little zip tie there that I found a little hole that I could go through so I didn't have to drill anymore. Comes, attaches to the wiring harness in the back, runs across to the fuel and brake lines. And then basically we just route all the way along those lines. Then we come up to here, I fish them up behind this, and then we'll go up into the cab or sorry, the cab under the hood and we'll fish these up and we'll get those there and then we'll do the front lights and it should just be power ground and figuring out a spot to install the switch after that. I'm just gonna keep hacking away at this. I know this is gonna be a quick kind of overview. Well, not overview, but a quick kind of how to install because really these things are pretty straightforward. Find your mounting locations, bust a hole, bolt them up, self tap them up however you want to do it and then run your wiring um, this is obviously for a wj but any of your jeeps anything else like that i pretty much do the same thing i do have a video of me doing a set of rock lights they are not the diode dynamic i believe they are race sport or uh, xk glow on the 392 jeep i'll throw that up over here but yeah, that's basically how I ran my wiring for this. So I'm just gonna set this down and we're gonna go get the rest of the wiring into this thing. Got most of the wiring run, as you can tell, just up through here, down behind the plastic. And then I came up through that hole right there. Uh, there's one on each side of the WJ. So that makes life pretty easy. The way I ran this is I ran it all over to here. Now, diode does have a spot for it to hook up to the battery. My only concern was not having enough length. They do sell extra extensions, but what I'm basically gonna do is I took some wire, ran it across, so I'm just gonna basically extend their rock light harness, power and ground over to my battery there, running it through the front. For the switch, I do have the trigger system but I'm gonna save those for like exterior kind of off-road lights um, because this has a high and a low. I use the diode dynamics harness and the two, they're like a two switch function switch or whatever. I don't exactly know how to phrase it, but essentially it's got low and high and off on that switch. So I'm not sure if you can see it. Let me move my washer fluid bottle. But that little boot right back in there 
is how I ran the wiring through. I just took my pocket knife, stabbed it, and then I use some plastic tubing. It just makes it easy to fish it through. And then if you come inside, this part just pulls straight off and I mounted my switch right there. So we'll have two and one, but yeah, just run it through your dash. It's really easy down through that boot back under the hood over here so now i just gotta wrap all this wiring up all of this shenanigans and make it look good and then put my washer fluid bottle back in and that'll wrap up this install so let me get all that knocked out i'll bring you guys back in we'll do that and then i'll turn on the lights and kind of show you both low and high on the rock lights and let you see what it looks like here in the shop and then if i remember I will get some shots of it tonight outside in the dark. Ran the power and ground over to the battery. I just kind of bundled up my wires and stuck them under the washer fluid bottle. One, it's my vehicle, so I'm gonna do that just cause if it was a customer's vehicle, I might try to hide it a little bit higher back under there. So thankfully it's mine and I can do what I want. So that's what I chose to do. Also, it gives me easy access to if I ever have any issues with the rock lights, which I doubt, but if I do, I can go through the wire and kind of wiring harness and test which one's bad. As for the rock lights, we're gonna come over here and I'm gonna hit number one, which is the low setting. And I went with amber cause my interior lights are amber and I kinda like it. So there's all four corners lit up. And then we're gonna come back around to the front. And this is what I like about these is you hit two and then they get even brighter. I mean, just ridiculously bright, which I really like a lot. So there it is. That's the install. When it comes to a wiring project, diodes made this really simple. One thing I really like about the diode harnesses on the rock lights is they actually snap together and there is like a positive click when they click together. So you know they're together and they're gonna stay together. Now one downfall is they have an arrow on one side and not an arrow on the other side. It says it has some lettering, um, which you typically just lined it up with. If it was me, I would say give people two arrows because people are people and somebody's gonna mess it up somewhere along the way but that's it when it comes to the install guys i will take this out tonight and definitely get some after shots of this i love the color of these things they're gonna look really good with the lights when they're on so if you have any questions feel free to drop them in the comments below that's it when it comes to the install of the diode dynamic rock lights on my wj like always make sure you're subscribed and i'll catch you on the next one